New at 10 tonight, crime shutters another business. This time, a neighborhood's grocery store closes its doors. The manager at the Save-A-Lot at Knight Arnold and Perkins says the large number of thefts forced them to close. WREG's Brian Didlake went to the area and witnessed firsthand the heavy toll thefts are taking on businesses and those who live there. Closed and shut down, shopper after shopper seen walking away at this Parkway Village Save-A-Lot off of Knight Arnold in Perkins. And it's all due to this sign that reads apologies for the inconvenience, but this location is closed due to theft. I was surprised. I'm like, stole what? What, what kind of theft? Tamika Jones said she stopped by the Save-A-Lot for milk as she was running an errand. She and other shoppers we spoke with say this closing hurts. This is very unfortunate because I think the nearest one is like parking it well, so it's definitely an inconvenience. The store's owner told me off camera he tried to save the store, but due to poor sales and theft, it had to close. We're told the grocery store was losing more money than eight other company stores combined. And speaking to that store owner's take on crime in the area, which closed down his store, we did witness two people, if you can come follow me, that stole from this family dollar, as you can now see police taking a report. No word yet from Memphis police on the man and woman we saw wearing surgical masks and running out of the store with a big trash bag full of items. Neighbors say crimes like this negatively affect businesses and those who live in the area. It forces them to find other places to shop often further away, the nearest save a lot on Gidwell and Park. It's a nine minute drive away via the interstate, but much longer for those without transportation. Well, yeah, well, you know, Save a Lot is a definitely a, um, it's a store that we love to go to for its prices. And as you can see, a lot of people, they walk in this area, you know, so it's definitely going to affect the community um, a lot. In Parkway Village, Brian Ditlake for your news leader, WREG, New Channel 3. Right, a big dent to that economy there and inconvenience. Well, going forward, the store owner says the groceries left at this location will be packed up and distributed to other locations so the food won't go to waste. Yeah, and save a lot won't be the last if the thefts don't stop. Yeah.